With ocean pollution on the rise, the largest cleanup mission in history is now underway. Emily Sackett has our report. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest concentration of trash in the ocean, now spreading over twice the size of Texas and three times the size of France. The patch floats between the coasts of California and Hawaii and contains at least 79,000 tons of plastic, some surviving from decades ago. The trash is accumulated from different currents, creating large chunks of connected garbage from all over the world. The most recent large influx of trash was from the tsunami which struck Japan in 2011. Captain Charles Moore took trips out to the Great Patch and could even stand on a floating mass of commonly found debris. These large black buoys were released by the Japanese tsunami. There's cups like this. There's lids of trash cans like this. There's a tremendous number of these small plastic fragments that litter the beaches in Hawaii. These fragments have been caught by this island and serves as a beach out here in the middle of the garbage patch collecting the garbage. Environmentalists say trying to clear the patch is daunting work to do manually and a solution must be put in place as quickly as possible since the patch has doubled in size in less than two years. It wasn't until 2012 when a 16-year-old boy had the idea to use the natural ocean currents to help clear the patch. Boyan Slat came up with the idea for the ocean cleanup, which uses a floating curved pipe attached to a hanging anchor suspended in the ocean below. It traps the trash as it travels with the current towards the pipe. The device moves with the current slower than the trash moves, keeping the garbage suspended in the middle until a boat periodically picks it up. The project officially took off in 2013, had a prototype test in Norway three years later, and is now set to send its first device out to the patch later this year. The device is durable enough to withstand the strongest currents and even shark bites, and is equipped with smart technology to detect things from a seagull landing to the smallest kinds of debris collected. Now 23 years old, Slat explains some of the features designed to collect all kinds of debris. It's quite big. Um, it's about one and a half meters below the water and one and a half meters above the water. And we did this because we want to make sure we will be able to catch pieces as small as just a few millimeters, but also as large as, say, um, a ghost net, which is you know, several meters in across. A full deployment of their fleet is expected for 2020 and is expected to clean up 50 percent of the patch in just five years. Emily Sackett, One America News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.